This is the next lesson in Unit 3 of Richard and John. And we're taking it further now, looking at uh, a sort of the consequences of the barons falling out with King John. And we're looking at the Barons' Rebellion of 1215, the road to Magna Carta. So we need to look at the causes of the Barons' Rebellion, look at the importance of events, and evaluate the most important events during the rebellion, which put King John at significant risk. Now, as a little starter activity, what you need to understand is based on what we've looked at last lesson is uh, put yourselves in the viewpoint of a Baron in 1215 and write down three reasons why the Barons would be the most unhappy. Think of a piece of evidence and explain why that would make a Baron so unhappy in the year 1215, which would lead them to rebel against their king. Pause the video here and spend five minutes on this task. So we're going to just do something based on a range of information. So in 1215, a group of barons rebelled. And if you don't know what rebel means, it means you go against authority. This led to them forcing John to agree to the Magna Carta, which we're going to look at next lesson, which was a list of rules which gave him less power and the barons more. Now, when John went against the Magna Carta, it led to the barons inviting Louis of France over to England to invade, overthrow John and have a new king. And this was the first barons war. So the key thing with this you understand is that this is broken up into sections. So you have in 1215, you have the rebellion. Also you have in 1215, the signing of the Magna Carta. And then from the years 1215 to 1217, you have a civil war because John breaks the Magna Carta really important that we understand that so people sometimes get the rebellion and the civil war mixed up they are two totally different events so this is the story of the baron's rebellion so in late june 1214 when john was arriving back from france some of the leading barons met at bury st edmunds they had a copy of henry the first's coronation charter in which henry promised to protect the rights of his people the barons said that if, they, that if John didn't start to follow this, that they would rebel. So John agreed to meet the barons in London in January 1215, and here the barons made their demands, which centred mainly on this list of rules that Henry I used to use, with some extra demands added. John said, no, I'm not doing it, and he agreed to meet the barons again in April. Now this is clever, because John was actually stalling. In those three months... John began to get his army ready in early 1215. He restocked the castles and began to recruit mercenaries. Adding to these troops he brought back from France, he made himself in a strong position because he was, he was effectively building up his army because he knew that the barons were going to do something. And in March 1215 he also made himself a little bit stronger by going to the Pope and promising to go on crusade in the future which meant that the Pope was definitely going to support him if the barons were going against him. Now, by April 1215, the barons lost patience. They, weren't, they were no longer prepared for John to just agree to the old coronation rules. Now, if you're, not, if you're not sure what that means, when the king becomes a king, they have a coronation, and they agree to a set of rules. John was not following these rules in the eyes of the barons. And... By April 1215, the barons wanted major change and they intended to force John to make promises which be recorded in a new charter. So a new set of rules. So the barons sent John another set of provisions they wanted him to follow, which is the earliest draft of the Magna Carta. And in May 1215, John hadn't responded to the demands, so the barons moved into an open rebellion. They finally decided to openly go against the king. On the 5th of May, they broke their homage to John, their loyalty, and declared Fitzwalter as their leader. If you remember Fitzwalter from earlier on, the guy that tried to assassinate John. And they marched on Northampton. They attacked Northampton Castle, but failed to take it. But this shows that the barons were now trying to take over by force. It showed they were serious. John decided to, he suggested something, that four people from each side, the rebels and the royals, meet to talk about stuff but the Pope would have the final decision. The barons rejected this. The reason for this is because the Pope was always going to support John and the barons knew this. 
By the 12th of May 1215, John ordered that all the lands of his enemies should be seized. And by May 1215, there were actually only 39 barons who declared themselves as rebels. Because a lot of barons were waiting to see who would win. So they actually didn't make their mind up and just stayed on the side of John. Five days later, on the 17th of May, was a big turning point when a group of barons went to London, the biggest town, and London opened their gates to the rebels, which meant that London was now in the hands of the rebel barons. And this is where the citizens of London formed an alliance with the rebels, which was a huge blow for John because of the financial importance of London. And it was really hard to get it back because of the walls of London that surrounded it. Now, after the fall of London, many people joined the rebel side. More people joined, especially young men who wanted to make a name for themselves. The rebels were now becoming a serious threat. By the summer of 1215, Norfolk and Suffolk were captured by the rebels. Rebels also gained control of Lincoln, but they didn't get the castle. John was losing support significantly, including two of his own men, Robert Desros and John de Lacey, who defected to the rebel side. The rebels also took control of Northampton, Chester and Carlisle as time went on. And this is where John reached a breaking point and said he would sit down with the barons and listen. And this was the process of the Magna Carta. So our lesson today is based around this information. The first thing you need to do is eat tens questions, okay? Where did the rebels meet when John was on his way back from France? What did the rebel barons have that they wanted John to follow? In January 1215, John refused to accept the barons' demands, but agreed to meet in April. Why did he do this? How did John get extra support during the potential rebellion? On the 5th of May, the barons broke homage to John. What does that actually mean? When the barons failed to take Northampton, John suggested four people from each side to meet. Who did John suggest would have the final say, and why was this unfair for the rebels? Why did it take a while for the barons to declare if they were rebels or not? Where did, the barrels, uh, where did the rebels gain control of first? Give two reasons why this was a disaster for John. Give three other places the rebels took control of. And why did John give in by the summer of 1215? Spend 10 minutes now answering these questions using this information. And then you're ready to move on to the next task. Now, just to take it one step further, you need to take this, this text here. Stick it in the middle of your page and highlight anything that causes problems. If you don't have um, this text in front of you, then you can just make, a, uh, make bullet points on the problems that King John faced but during this rebellion. So, for example, one of the biggest ones that I'm going to annotate, which I think is absolutely damning for John, is when the group of barons went to London. That was really damaging. The fact that rebels broke their homage to John showed that John was losing control. The fact they were declaring another individual, the leader, shows that barons had reached the end of their tether. So go through it, make a bullet point list or highlight any problems that are caused for King John. If you highlight it, you must then annotate uh, why it causes a problem. Okay. Now the final task is a just a peel paragraph, 12 marker, explain why the Baron Rebellion caused problems for King John. So with this paragraph, really focus on one thing that caused the problem. Now to be honest, I think a peel paragraph might be a bit of a stretch, so if you did a medium peel, that's okay. But give yourself six minutes to write this paragraph, and then you've got everything you need for the next lesson. And the next lesson is going to focus on why the Magna Carta happened and why King John ended up breaking the Magna Carta.